Hello friends, welcome to JavaFX 3D tutorial. In this video, we will explore perspective camera with a demo. So we know that our sphere is positioned at layout x 126, layout y 216 and the radius of the sphere is 100. So in xy plane, so this is xy plane and if you see layout x 126 layout y 216 that's where the sphere is similarly if you look at the box layout x 375 somewhere here and layout y 216 at same location so this is box and in x it is shifted towards right so the sphere is at 126 layout x and the box is at 375 and they have depth also 80 that means in z direction it projects beyond the computer screen let's assume like that so that depth is 80 similarly for sphere since it is radius of 100 half of the cylinder is in the planes this is think about this as a paper half of the cylinder i mean half of the sphere is above the paper and half of the sphere is below the paper so that's how here we specified the objects and perspective camera when we talk about perspective camera it's good to know where the actual object is so previously we created a parallel camera right here the constructor is perspective camera and for the perspective camera we pass a boolean true and we call the camera as pc perspective camera then we are setting the far clip as well as near clip so minus 0 or plus 0 it doesn't matter 0 at z plane near clip is at uh, z plane and far clip is 500 unit in the depth direction we are setting the far clip as 500 so if uh, this is the perspective camera near clip is at 0 and far clip is at 500 so let's state that near clip is at minus 100 so this is at zeroth location in z direction this is the xy plane and this is our box and this one is our sphere all right but if you see here near plane we shifted it here that matches with uh, this location in this example but uh, just for understanding purpose you can place it like this also um, near clip minus 50 or somewhere and far clip at some location 500 so whatever is in between that we can view using the perspective camera next here 
we move the camera to a location so that we can view the 3d object here if you see in the negative direction we are moving the camera away so that the scene can be seen so this is at zero we are moving the camera far away to minus thousand so that scene can be viewed using the perspective camera we will explore by changing these parameters when we go to the demo the time you can clearly see how object resizes because it's perspective camera right and if you see perspective camera is like a cone projection previously we talked about parallel projection the camera will project something in parallel but here it, since this is a perspective camera or more realistic camera just like our eyes it goes in perspective projection so field of view so this angle is 30 degree that's what we are setting it you can set a camera with a different field of view we already discussed that field of view 60 camera with field of view 25 degree so how much view it covers that is decided by this uh, field of view so as usual once a camera is prepared we can set that camera to the scene this time we are setting perspective camera to the scene and let us see how the camera is weaving our textured material sphere as well as box now let's go to the demo so now we will change our parallel camera from our previous example to perspective camera so perspective camera is from java fx scene perspective camera so you can see translate x y z all are at zeroth location field of view is 30 and we set our near as well as far flipping plane now we will rebuild this and run once if you see there is nothing seen in the screen even if I resize, nothing happens. Now we will do a translate X. For that, we need to know the location of our objects. So sphere comes first, right? We will take that for reference. And in layout X, it is at location 126 and our camera is at uh, zero now let's keep this as 20 or uh, 50 we'll rebuild this so still nothing is seen now i will keep it as 126 rebuild the solution still nothing is seen now let me keep it as 300 so This is at 375 that means in x we located the camera at right direction now we will go to y since it is a perspective projection we need to move our camera away from the scene so we will keep it as minus 200 here
let's move it far away so when we are moving the camera far away that time we can see the uh, objects and in why if you see we can move this 216 right somewhere 200 we can give so let me give 200 or we will keep it as 150 and later we will change it so now with the perspective camera we can see the screen and since this is the depth direction you can see how we are viewing the object if i resize nothing happens it will not resize i mean this will get scaled but uh, the orientation will not change and if you look at the box here the orientation is not changing now let's move the camera further away so since the camera is going away from the scene you can see the object will get scaled here or it becomes smaller you see now let me give 2000 you can see the object is going smaller and smaller when camera is moving uh, towards you from this uh, z direction similarly when you move very close the camera may go beyond the object and you won't see anything that time as well now let's go ahead and fix the camera at thousands location this time what i am going to do i will decrease the field of view that means the object will zoomed out here very narrow view so less object can be seen but uh, the sphere as well as box will cover up the uh, field of view that means your screen will be covered or this stage will be covered by these two objects let's see that the object size remains same but the camera's field of view is changing and if you see by changing the field of view you are doing the zoom in now we will do the zoom out by changing the field of view to 60 degree so this will cover more area but the object becomes smaller see here i'm not moving the camera away but i'm just changing the field of view that will also uh, since here we have only two objects and if you think that there are other 3d objects here that means you will be seeing more area or if you are inside your room then you will be seeing more area here by increasing the field of view at same camera location now let's take that perspective camera created with uh, fixed i at camera zero we will set that as false and this time if you see field of view will not change anything 30 right if i do resize nothing happens and if you see object is turning right so that's not the case with uh, uh, fixed i alt as zero here if you see perspective camera 
with uh, fixed IAT camera that is set to false that means the camera will align towards the left and to make you understand look at this face the face I mean the box face towards this PR now I will resize and see how it tends so what this shows you so it shows that camera is repositioning the towards top and the projection changes right see how you are seeing this face now let me keep this as before that let me adjust this field of view to 10 degree see nothing happens the object goes to different location because of the realignment of the camera all right that's all here changing the field of view uh, doesn't uh, resize the object let me you 60 there so I gave more field of view now if I make it true Here the object is towards the center and if I resize the screen you can see how the projection remains same. So this face will not change. So this is the face I am talking about. Now I will resize this screen and you can see how the perspective with the fixed eye is working. So the fixed eye is at zero zero zero. So when you resize nothing will change but if camera is here and if it get realigned when scene changes or when screen resizes then since because of the camera relocation you are seeing different faces when we resize the screen all right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye